Hello folks, time for another video and a kind of a late night shave. I do have the backlighting behind my shower curtain there, but it is nighttime because I was waiting for the storm that we were supposed to be getting and they said it was supposed to be bad, so I didn't want to lose power, but anyway, I have a busy day tomorrow, so I'm going to shoot this tonight. I'll post this up Friday morning so you guys can check it out. I'm trying to really stay on my shaves here very itchy but I'm kind of going with some gear that I really like today so I am using Campania from Sterling such a great scent there's so much going on in here there's like grapefruit there's bergamot there's like pepper so much good stuff I'm gonna pop up the scent profile for you now boom right there you can scope it out and ingredients of course run the container i really like this scent it kind of reminds me a little bit of piancenza but with more of like a peppery kind of note or i don't know if really it's really peppery but it's a very vibrant scent for me very good and the ingredients are right there in the container if you can see that there Good stuff. Campania. Awesome deal. All right, but I'm using some other gear, which I'm really stoking because of, uh, I got this cool brush a few days ago. The Mula Roca and the birch bark handle. Love that. And I'm using the matching razor, of course. The Mula Roca. Yeah, baby. And I am using a Persona Platinum in there. I think I've used the Persona last shave with it, but hey, hey why not? It's right on top. Wet the face. It's late. I took a late shower, which kind of woke me up, so I'm going to have a hard time going to sleep tonight. But I'll edit my video, and it'll be out nice and early in the morning for you folks. Campania from Sterling. Plus, I am seeing my parents tomorrow. And the last time I saw my mom, I wasn't shaving. But I did shave, but I need to shave again. Mm. Awesome scent. I should have bought some Aquapana water in here, but I forgot. Awesome sterling product. Very affordable. Good stuff. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I get to use my Mula Roca brush today. Yeah, yeah. At least I'll be going to bed soon. Good. Of course, I got lather all over the place as usual. But hey, what you gonna do? All right. Mula Roca birch bark handle with a Persona Platinum. Gotta make sure I watch out for the mole this time. <laughs> Which I think I just did it again. Because there was probably a scab on it. That's okay. Episode 2 of... Whack-a-mole. The air conditioning has not had a break today. And it wasn't super hot today. But it was warm. We did have a few storms roll through. We were supposed to get another one tonight, but it kind of went around us. According to the satellite image of it. Ah, the air conditioning just stopped. Mm. 
Sounds like there's a party going on in the next room. That's just my granddaughter with all her friends. They're winding down the school year here. Nice. Very nice combo. In this razor, I find the personas very nice. Yeah, sorry for the late night shave, but I was waiting, for, like I said, for this storm to roll through, which we didn't actually get. Just because I heard a lot of people were losing power, and I didn't feel like dealing with that, so. Oh, Sterling has such nice residual. Slickness. Can't believe I got the lather in my ear. <laughs> it's gonna be crackling as I sleep tonight. Oh, it's gonna do. All right. One thing I did notice about this brush. After I washed it with a few different shaving soaps when I was breaking it in, it really bloomed nicely. This is a silver tip badger, 21 millimeter knot that's in here. You can also get this brush in a synthetic. I think they call it their Fox silver tip. Or something like that. I opted for the real badger. It did have a slight badger funk to it when I first took it out of the container that it came in. But that washed away rather quickly. I know I caught myself last time somewhere in the mustache area. I just forgot exactly where. So it's like just being a little careful up there. I totally forgot about my whack-a-mole incident. <laughs> I also picked up the matching stand for this razor and brush. I had a stand that was generic, but I had the one that actually goes for this deal. The rest of my razor is all kind of in a rack. If you go back and look at my old videos where uh, I show you how my den's laid out. Well, I need to do a little counter maintenance right now. I really got this counter wet tonight. All right. Oh, that feels good. I'm going to empty my sink a little bit here because I kind of overfilled it. making all kind of noises tonight. Glenn, what are you doing with no lather in your face? Well, the residual is very nice on Sterling, so. Just hitting that little area right there. Oh yeah, baby. All right. I will 
off that right there. I'm actually gonna really quick while I get the sink on. I'm just gonna rinse off this brush because I want to show you at the end of the shade the uh, the cool stand that I got. Sorry, got the water running there. Just gonna shake this out a little bit. Oh, that's such a cool bloom on that brush, let me tell you. Still got my counter wet, still some more. Let's watch Glenn clean his counter tonight, folks. <laughs> All right, actually I wanna do a quick cold water rinse. I don't know why I'm using this nasty towel that I cleaned my counter off with. Sterling has some really good slickness on their soaps. Bring in the Lancaster towel for the face mop up. And I promise I won't use it on the counter. Yeah, that's awesome. So, just a quick recap here. everything over that my wife has stacked up here. I always forget to move her stuff off the counter. Alrighty, so let me show you something real quick before I, before I bail out of this. So this is the cool stand that I got from Moolah. So how she works is the razor goes in like this, upside down. See that? And then the brush goes in like that. How cool is that? I really like that setup a lot. It was better than the setup I had. Because this razor I always hung on a stand. The rest of my razors are hanging on the wall with like a wire mesh rack. All right, well, that's good. So if everybody enjoyed today's Campagna Shave. And like I says, I use the Mula Roca razor today with a Persona Platinum blade in there. And I use the Mula Roca brush with that awesome Big old, I mean, it's 21, but it looks huge. That looks huge. The Mula. Mula. Roca brush. And matching stand. Am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, Captain's Choice Ball, Sandstorm Ball. Perfect size for that brush. And let's finish this awesome Campania shave from Sterling with the matching splash right there. Yes. And I believe there are ingredients. Yes, somewhere there are. Hopefully I'm not holding that upside down. I think I did a good job on that one. All right, let's put some of this on. This is good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed tonight smelling like a champ. But it's good. I'm just going to slather it all on. Put it in my ears, behind my ears. Along the nose. Oh yeah. I dig that scent really much. 
All right, so that was the matching Campagna aftershave splash from Sterling. Awesome shave. So if you enjoyed today's Sterling Campagna shave, thumbs up if you didn't like it. Hit that dislike button. And please subscribe. We do need those subscribers to have a giveaway. And stay safe out there. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. Mm -hmm.